today we also uh, launching every day we'll be going to the villages for example the day that we'll be uh, talking about end of fgm we will visit the lady who went through fgm in moraga county and her family just to encourage her and to encourage more to speak out if it's about end of uh, teenage pregnancy and early marriages we'll be visiting the young girls who have actually gotten pregnant who we want to encourage that even after getting pregnant you can still go back to school and study if it's about gender because we're saying by the end of the day the last day it's going to be zero tolerance to gender-based violence so we want if there's a, a mother or a lady or even a man who has gone through domestic violence we'll still go and visit them um, um, the issue about uh, ending violence against the youth, against even um, persons with disability, will be going to homes and visiting those homes and making sure that we are in touch with them. I also want to appreciate that I've started a run on uh, mental health. And this run I'm going throughout the entire county of Moranga. We have lost so many people, either through suicide or people killing each other. And the latest is even an administrator who killed himself in an office. So we want to encourage more people to talk. And if you are a man and a woman and you cannot agree, there's no need of killing the other person. You met in peace, it's good you live in peace. If you feel that you, there's something that is disturbing you, whether it's financially, whether it's family burdens, whatever it is, it can even be work-related. It is good we are encouraging people to speak out. When we go to the villages and we find these people who have not yet managed to talk to them, so to uh, other people, we are offering to give services. We take them to the hospitals, the ones who need medication, they are being given free medication. And the ones who need a counsellor, we are also connecting them to the counsellors. It has been amazing two weekends. This other weekend we run in Matioya. But we want to encourage more people to join in and to come and partner with us. I'm happy that the county government of Moranga last weekend were with them and we're going with them through the CEC Mbai, who has connected many families to access to medical care in Muranga, uh, Muranga Level 5. So today I am happy that I was able to meet with the women and we're able to start the campaign against gender-based. So to have a gender-based uh, uh, desk in all our police stations, to have a number that people can be able to call so that if you're under distress, you're able to call and express yourself. Because a lot of people don't know where to hide or where to go. They are desperate, they are going through violence, but they don't know how now to handle the issue of themselves moving out of that space. And so even creating shelter, I'm, wa I'm working and talking with the um, Embassy of India to see whether they can be able to help me build a shelter where we can be, even if it's a temporary shelter, where somebody can stay for one, two months or three months before we connect them back to the society and before they're able even to plan themselves. So this is one of my major plans that I have with the Embassy of India.